It's me. me. Hi, Hi, I'm the problem. It's I'm me. I'm the problem. It's me. And Dr. Descant. Amen. Memini se periti. Let the uneducated learn and the educated take pleasure in their memoirs. Happy 175th anniversary. And Dr. Descant is our motto. And Dr. Descant is our rule. And Dr. Descant. Now and always, and I always sing discant. <laughs> yeah, it's just like decant or discant. Ugh. It was that he and a shadow, when brought near each other, would would join like drops of water, and when they did not, he was appalled. This reminds me, DFCM taught me, uh, Cambridge educated DFCM taught me O level biology in eleventh grade, and. Yeah, so she used the Socratic method, and that basically involved that for every class, the session would start with like half the session, half the first session of every class would be her giving us a lecture, and the other half would be a Q&A session, you know? And, and yeah, so it would just be an impromptu by Bavosi where anyone could just be asked any question over on the part of the course that we covered in all our classes, not just that one, um, classes, <laughs> half. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so anyway, so she asked me a question on joints, different kinds of joints, so the difference between a shoulder joint and an elbow joint. And, and I started answering the question, and I was just like, so the elbow joint is, you know, is like a, the shoulder joint is a universal, you know, ball and socket joint, which allows universal movement. Like you can spin your arm around with your shoulder, and whereas the elbow joint just goes up and down, you know, it's not a... So it's like a lever, <laughs> but I didn't say lever, I said lever. And she's like, lever, darling, lever, like lever brothers, uni lever. I was saying, it's like a pivot, it's like a lever, it just goes up and down. And, and she's like, lever, darling, lever. <laughs> I don't know, I just think it's so funny. But God, yeah, she was very sarcastic. Like often, like she would just pick on students who were not sitting properly, like upright. You know, nobody sat in an upright position, come on. I mean, everyone was just like slumped in their chairs and just like, head down, crossed arms, that kind of thing. And yeah, and she's like, oh, oh, darling, is that is that yoga position number 42? Is that what it is? And if someone wasn't paying attention in class, she would be like, "Is are you falling in love, dear? I mean, I would like it if you fell in love with me because I'm the one giving the lecture. We never got to see the Manhattan skyline from the roof of the Standard Hotel because I had taken out my British passport after the whole fiasco on July 21st, At UConn, Dr. Naomi ordered Dr. Knapp to uh, prep the patient so she could do a physical exam on her to you know, determine whether she has snoroderma. Poor no man had to face his patient who was like, I ain't taking my clothes off.